Brand new single, Wanted a Name. Friendship, who are in the house right now. Yes, sir. James and Brett. Hello, hello. Present. I'd like to say my good friends, James and Brett. Yeah, yeah. go way back. Please Brett, do. Brett has actually played in my living room in Laguna Beach. Yeah, it's true. As, you know, stripped down as it can get right there. Stripped. He didn't yeah, have naked. On. Well, almost. <laughs> naked. <laughs> uh, but it's just sort of showed that you have such strong songwriting, you know, and uh, you held it, it held its own. And, that, and that's right. always a good sign, right? Nice. So the latest single, Wanted a Name, it's out. You guys are back. We're back. back. <laughs> you're you're back, back better than ever. Yeah. Uh, let's talk about the single. I believe you wrote it in Ojai. Uh, yeah. No, we actually wrote it. Uh, uh, we, we played it in Ohio. Yeah, yeah. Okay. We didn't. Well, oh, then, yeah. since we're on the topic, you, the you released an acoustic video recently. Yeah. Uh, wh- yeah. Why did you decide to release that video? Because kind of like what you said. I mean, I think, uh, I think our songs are strong. and Yep. You get to share that side of it, and um, it really lets the song shine through versus, you know, flashy fucking production around it all and stuff, so you get to kind of see the song. Yeah, is that kind of what you want to bring into the forefront, you know, your strong songwriting? Um, Yeah, I think, I mean, I don't think we're trying to, like, push, like, we're the best songwriters out there, because I don't think we are, but... Uh, I think we're I th- intentionally trying not to think so much about yeah, it. Yeah, that's probably uh, a good thing, yeah. yeah. I think it's a year of not giving as many fucks, probably, Uh uh, Can I say fuck? Of course. Okay. <laughs> I wouldn't have it any other way. Get your finger on that beat button. Real I should ask that before I <laughs> well, say I mean, fuck. I, I, I've followed this journey. As, yeah, you know, yeah. I've, I've yeah. Ha- I'm happy to say I've been there since almost first. the beginning. Oh, yeah, since the yeah. first yeah. single. Totally. You yeah. possibly were the first person to, to hit us up. Yeah. Wow. To give a fuck. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, thank you. Because, yeah, kick, kick, snare, right? And then oh, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. we did that, that show at Dirty Laundry. Yeah. Holy crap, um, yeah. So that was a long time ago. Uh, you know, I mean, obviously, Capsize had over half a billion streams and maybe more. <laughs> yeah. And so, so now, you know, you've, you've left Columbia, gone to your indie roots. And um, I guess sort of, do you feel that that, you know, that has helped you and that move away from the label machine is, seems to be becoming more common, you know? It's yeah. not like you're the only person that's had to do that. And yeah. Just kind of go back to your roots and... I guess sort of explain what you guys are going through and your journey to this point. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think like, I don't know, you sign to a, a major label with the expectation that you're going to get a lot of things and, and primarily radio. Like these days, that's the really the only thing a major label makes sense for. Uh, or, or lots of money. Yeah. Which we it's certainly campaign, did yeah. not take lots of money from the label. And, uh, Mm-hmm. But yeah, I, I don't know. It, it's 2019. The economics of a major label deal do not make any sense whatsoever. Um, it's the one we signed. Uh, well, yeah, <laughs> and we signed. Right, so they, you don't feel like they were treating you as a priority as far as their you know buy it budget and. We felt like a priority. I mean, when we signed, okay. we had a song popping off, sure. so it was we felt like okay, a priority. Take that back. <laughs> no, no, we felt like a priority really fast, and then you know uh, they I can continue in a second, but they cut. I mean. You know, the follow up singles to that, if they don't take off in, you know, freaking week or two, then they can shelf shit like that. Mm-hmm, you know, mm-hmm. there's a lot of promises made and a lot of things. Sure. And, you know, it was, yeah, it just didn't economically make sense. Or we, we genuinely have this very like onward and upward kind of sense about ourselves. And we're just kind of excited or like, you know, happy with the lessons we learned and all that. And we're, of course, moving on. But it, I think the only parts that are really frustrating looking back at it is the people that looked us in the eyes and, told us how much they loved what we were doing and they were you know this is the thing they really wanted to work and then you hear the stories afterwards about what actually happened and and that's the only part that's kind of frustrating yeah. mm-hmm. when people we really cared about and we really liked having on our team uh just yeah kind of had a different mm-hmm. agenda when they were within that corporate building i guess and there's we definitely have, still have some champions over there and we did but you know those people are right fighting the powers sometimes so well now you've moved on from that and uh, you've gone a little bit more of an indie route totally. now, what's the label you're on now so we're signed to counter records which is under ninja tune yeah ninja tune yeah, cool yeah. Yeah. counter records yeah oh that's awesome yeah cool. we're really excited they've been really supportive and and the new single came out on that mm. on counter records yeah dude. Yeah. yeah a couple weeks ago so tell us about that single and, and riding with yoke lore they were high <laughs> <laughs> You can't say that. <laughs> you can't say that you can't on say that. radio. Uh, they were high, pretty sure. Uh, we, I might have been 
<laughs> it's second hand. <laughs> second hand. Uh, we were all high. Uh, <laughs> no wonder it's so good. I, we can were, pull, I can pull the video up. We were participating in the... Uh, floor swimming going on, I recall. Yeah. The, uh, the legalization of... The benefits of legalization of yeah, yeah, yeah. marijuana. Um, yeah, we... I don't know. Is it is a good headspace to be in after being on... Uh, on the road for so long we were all antsy sure. to get back in and write some music and um, and also being on the road with each other for that long we were all kind of like brothers I mean James and I already have that dynamic but mm-hmm. uh, young young Adrian Yoklor also became kind of family to us so. right yeah you guys have known him, him for a while as well yeah yeah and it was just kind of an easy transition to just be like hey let's let's actually try to make songs so um, yeah it was really that one was really fast. We kind of just went over to my house and I think in a day, kind of more or less cranked it out. Rewrote yeah. some verses later on and slapped some new production on it. But nice. it was pretty, it was pretty fast and and easy to. I mean, when you're already comfortable with somebody like that, it's easy to just knock things out. So yeah, of course. Yeah, I mean, it's got a little bit of a yoke lore standard like yelling yeah. part, yeah. <laughs> which Whale. which I yeah. dig, which I yeah. really yeah, love that. Pretty, yeah, pretty yokey. Um, they, somebody told us that it's kind of a perfect someone who knows us both very well told us it's a very like a perfect hybrid of each of us which yeah I, it's a perfect song <laughs> i'd have to agree it's perfect uh, I mean, yeah it's yeah <laughs> best of the year yeah, <laughs> yeah, but, right, yeah already yeah <laughs> well that, that's great i mean we're happy to have you back uh, with this this single and yeah i mean uh we should definitely mention that you know you had a really successful tour you know i was at the el ray show oh, it was yeah. like your yeah. biggest la gig and it was, was yeah. yeah yeah and um i mean you've been with paradigm for this whole time and she's been giving you some good stuff yeah yeah, yeah. sarah's <laughs> our girl sarah. she's we love sarah we love yeah. sarah and you tom know? as well yeah they're both sarah's been just a Freaking G. She's been there since the beginning, yep. too. And um, we had you at South by in 2016, yeah. and you were with Sarah back then, too. So we were, yeah. The good people stick around. Yeah, um, of course, yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, that, that's awesome. And so now you, you've got a, a few more releases coming out this year? We do, yes. yeah. We're, we're, um, we're putting out an album this year. I think yeah, we're right. saying that publicly now. So. Okay. Yeah. I don't um, know. <laughs> Say fuck, can't but you say can't fuck, tell people. Can't say, you can say <laughs> it all. Out now. Uh, that's coming out. Yeah, that's. Um, uh, we'll announce a date soon, and um, there'll be some tour touring alongside of it. And okay, the whole shebang. Go to Europe in the summer. I think we're looking at now, and then doing another fall tour, trying to hit Australia too. That's awesome. Yeah. New Zealand. We have, we have a we have a didn't you play large last year there. too? Yeah, you were at the L Ray in 2018, right? Yeah, that was cool. So you're not yeah. taking too much time off at all. I mean, you know, you, you're still back into the saddle here. It was, yeah, it feels like we did, took quite a bit of time off. Yeah, that, I will say, like, I don't. We've never felt so confident about the releasing, or like, I don't know, the releasing of music. I love that. Um, just the team around us, from mm-hmm. the new label to everything. It, it, it's a really, really great feeling to have this kind of confidence in the people that you're surrounded by. So. Even, really if the, even if the shit flops, we'll, yeah. <laughs> we'll have done it fucking well. <laughs> yeah, you're doing it right. We'll have released I'm, it well. No, but I mean, really, it's, it's you want if if it's gonna fail, you want it to be because the music wasn't good enough. Yeah, sure, not sure. Because yeah. nobody did their job, or yeah. You know. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, it sounds like you're in a better place now. And let's see, I have a couple questions from from the fans. Mm, uh-huh. So, um, you know, uh, it was you, you had the fireside chat on on Twitter, but nobody <laughs> asked this question: uh, Why no I or D in friendship? Mm. It was uh, we didn't know you spelled it. That <laughs> no, you never knew how to spell it. <laughs> yeah, just and then we got a copyright, and then all of a sudden, <laughs> too far down the road. Ah. Uh, I think it was cool at the time to drop vowels. Yeah, <laughs> all vowels, and we followed. Well, what's that? <laughs> oh, you're right. And so, but we thought we, it was literally we we said, oh, let's be one step ahead. <laughs> That's why. And drop a consonant <laughs> as well, and leave a couple because we still have the, the last i and the e, so we still have a couple of vowels in there. We thought we were being clever as shit. SEO. Right, Google, but you know, it probably made it difficult because it's the same. Yeah, yeah, we do it different now. If that's what you're asking, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, play yeah. off, okay? Yeah, yeah. yeah I feel like off, I'm, man. I'm part of the club. When on on Facebook, I'll be like, "Here's a new video with my friends." You know, yeah. like our yeah, ENS. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, yeah. you know, yeah. We should, yeah, we so, should, you know, feel push that. Yeah. Totally close, part of the thought so process with you. Yeah. 
<laughs> uh, what else? We have a PBS Denver interview coming up. With, <laughs> shout out to Dan Satan. Yeah, shout Dan out Satan. Dan Satan. Everybody loves that it's man. It's our baby boy. He's just had a, a packed house this past week, yeah, so we yeah, definitely got to plug his solo stuff as well. Yes, Daniel. Uh, the, so, dark, yeah. the Dark Lord. We call him the... This is, yeah, I'll just rat him out. I call him the Dark Lord because it sounds like Dan Satan, so <laughs> if, you're ever at yeah. a, if you're ever at a show, just say praise the Dark Lord. And he's, there you go. Yeah. He's, <laughs> praise the Dark Lord. <laughs> so praise you, Dan. There you go, Dan. Uh, so let's see. No, Denver great. is hometown. One of your... Duh, that's my hometown, yeah. yeah so we... Uh, we, yeah, we were, Tell us about that. You you went back there for the hometown special? Not for the hometown special. Well, we ended up doing a special, but we our our last uh, show of the tour was uh, in Denver. So okay. we got a nice hometown crowd. And then, uh, yeah, a friend of ours got us hooked up with PBS. and That's sick. <laughs> we're made, friends with PBS. We made our no. PBS debut. That's this, amazing. This year. And it's great. Yeah, no, we really appreciate him doing it. it You've fun. done a lot the last few yeah. years. Yeah, it's been busy. It's been fun. Well-deserved. But we're, we're ready to ramp right up on. again. Well, you know, and so what's the next single? Do we know? Are we allowed to? Hey, you say don't that. have to tell us. We can just say you've heard it, probably. Okay, you, yeah, it was you, song uh, <laughs> of our last set. <laughs> Actually, yeah, we were playing it live. I song, don't song four whatever. of our last set. I'll say, say, it, it, say it's it. It's called "Remind You." I don't know. It's uh, "Remind You." Okay. Yeah, that's we've never said that, so we might get some texts right now from our team that you got the premiere though. You got the yeah. exclusive. Well, thank uh, you guys. <laughs> Well, remind you is the next single, and James and Brett are joining us here. So the current single is out now. Look out for the next one. Mm-hmm. Her yeah. single is Wanted a Name featuring yep. Yoke Lore. Yep. And lots to look there's, forward to. There's a music video coming out for this current sing- okay. single that I don't want to like, give anything away, but I, it could we be. We love it. You already gave a lot away. It's, yeah, it's like, <laughs> it's probably one of my, I don't know. I'm very proud of this one. Even more than we're not even in it or anything like that, but like okay. I'm very proud of the work that was done, and I don't know. It, it hopefully will make you cry. <laughs> Amazing! So look out yeah. for that yeah. for the for the video for Wanted a Name, guys. You guys make me cry every day. It's just you guys are my <laughs> my friends <Sorry>. with <laughs> the F R E N S in a good way. Right. Um, you can come back anytime. Oh, thank we're you. We're running short on time here, but. Thanks yeah. for the love. We appreciate it. You know, shout out to your support. fans. Shout out to your label. Yeah, yeah. We've, we've done we it all, yeah. you know? Yeah. All right. Sick. Let's go into your uh, second most recent single, Mi Amore. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> that Do was it. a really catchy song. Sweet. You guys had some good ones out last all year. Right. And here's one of them <laughs> on uh, Dash X. This is Mi Amore from the guys in the studio, James and Brett. Friendship. Ooh, Thank yes. you, guys.